afternoon traders and students all around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex, Forex Trading Course 101 everybody this week we are ending the beginner module so if you don't know what is happening the where the when the why please go back on Lucas Copy YouTube webinar page and start to watch the lesson starting from the basic module lesson number one what is market structure and remember what we're trying to do everybody we are trying to build the three pillars as beginners we're trying to build a strategy and or a system that it's easy for you to understand we're trying to learn about risk management and how this works and the big one we are trying to learn how our psychology affects our trading everybody and talking about psychology what do champion traders say champion traders say i will not live and die on a trade by trade basis and of course this is a quote from mark douglas and remember everybody 90 percent of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for the educational purposes only and for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail gmail contact skype contact and linkedin contact and yes everybody at the end of the webinar we're going to talk about the where is the picture we're going to talk about your next level on friday uh software didn't answer so we're going to talk about uh this one okay at the end of the lesson that being said everybody hello Akos, hello vincent hello salbakti hello mhb ciao giuseppe hola silas hello miguel how is everybody so today's lesson is trading japanese candlesticks bullish and bearish candlestick formation in multiple time frames okay so let's address this we're going to do the exercise as always we are going to have the four time frames and everybody this lesson is going to be an upgrade okay so if you don't understand or if you are going to have difficulties to understand what is happening go back on the other lessons and try to learn everybody your volume is low your volume is low better Victor better is it better now is it better okay remember everybody i have a 20 seconds delay in the chat is it better in the meantime i'm going to wait for somebody to say it's okay hello any how are you so this is going to be the monthly chart monthly chart is it better everybody hello christian how are you monthly this is going to be the weekly weekly volume better victor and mhb monthly weekly right time right corner right up corner it's going to be the yes okay daily right corner and the right down corner is going to be the one hour two hour four hour chart hello Romar how are you okay everybody so multiple time frames and bullish and bearish very soft but can hear you okay everybody just give me a second better is it better 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 testing testing one two three better just tell me it's too loud or not monthly time frame we have a down structure everybody right we have a down structure and we have the short term trend and something like this you know and hello Zuelius and we are going to have a bullish candle in here 
okay now on the weekly chart is going to be more or less the same we are going to have this and this and then we are going to have the up short term uptrend and we are going to have the short term downtrend and then we are going to have the first higher high okay something like this okay and here we are going to have something like this it's going to be a bearish candlestick formation okay let's make a difficult one for this lesson okay we have a week we have a week on the monthly we have a bearish candlestick formation on the weekly much better yes better okay on the daily chart we are going to have down 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 and then we're going to have up and up and something like in here and we are going to have a bullish candlestick formation something like this and of course on the one hour two hour four hour chart we are going to have the uptrend up structure and everything and then we are going to have something like this you know a big retracement and then we are going to have something like this finally okay and let's say that we have a bullish candlestick formation in here also okay so bullish and bearish candlestick formation in multiple time frames slightly better okay much better victor slightly better okay everybody how are we going to trade this on the one hour, two hour, four hour chart? How are we going to trade this on the one hour? Oh, and let's make it, this is an easy one. Let's make it a little bit different. Okay, let's make it here let's make it like in here we are going to have instead of daily bullish we are going to have a daily bearish cannot be bullish it must be bearish okay and something like this okay there you go i can hear you very well okay thank you christian namaste patak how are you Hello Santana sir The question is everybody in the past we learned about the concepts of multiple time frame trading about support resistance pivot points market structure long term trends short term trends and the market wave Okay so now we are talking about the same concept but with a different tool so the question is should we short or go long on the one hour two hour four hour chart everybody so when i'm telling you that this lesson is an upgrade so you need to take consideration structure the short term trend so you need to take in consideration everybody the structure on the monthly structure on the weekly structure on the daily and structure on the one hour two hour four hour chart you need to take in consideration the market wave meaning extension and retracements on the monthly weekly daily and the one hour two hour four hour chart and now you must take in consideration the candlestick formations so what are we going to do are we going to short the market or are we going to go long is the monthly candle closed yes sir the monthly candle is closed within says short term uptrend on what time frame do you see a short term uptrend everybody isn't the daily 
isn't the daily euro dollar right now I mean I don't know I, I didn't check today the market yet but wasn't the day wasn't the euro dollar on the daily chart like this you had the lower high lower low and then the market was moving sideways and going up and down and finally it broke up MHB says short on trend line break. Everybody, when you enter the answer, short or long, please type on what time frame. On what time frame do you want to go short or do you want to go long? Short on trend line break. What time frame? Short ST. What time frame? We're in long. On what time frame? Silas, go short. On what time frame? Should I go short on the monthly, the weekly, the daily, or the one to four hours? And should I go long on the monthly, the weekly, the daily, or the one to four hours, everybody? What should I do? Remember, you need to make so. As beginner traders, we are trying to learn two things, right? Thing number one, we are trying to learn how to make pips, how to make money, right? So we are trying to learn how to enter and when to enter and trying to do the, let's say, the right stuff, right? And number two, what we are trying to do as beginner traders, we are trying to make sense out of our losers so for in the future not to make the same mistake and here we are in multiple time frames and everybody if we di if we if we don't understand the market in the correct way we are going to lose and as we're talking about it's not a problem it's just one trade if if we make sense out of our loser Silas go short weekly. Wow, Silas wants to go short weekly, everybody. So this is Silas go short weekly. Silas wants to go short on the weekly chart. So we have one to short the market on the weekly. Akos short on daily and two hours. Akos want to short the daily and want to short the two hours okay Santana short on daily next candle break the low okay on the weekly time frame short long on four hours okay so everybody let's talk first about shorting the daily and the one hour two hour four hour chart okay remember there is no right or wrong we're trying to make sense of our loser so if you are my teacher I'm your student and you want to short everybody the four hour chart the one hour chart the two hour chart I'm going to ask you teachers but wh why are we going to short an uptrend teachers why are we going to short an uptrend let's address first the one hour two hour four hour chart hello time to shine long on the four hour chart okay so let's address now for the teachers who want to short i'm going to ask you teachers why do you want to short an uptrend on the one hour two hour chart with the bullish candlestick formation and if you want to go long on the one hour two hour chart i'm going to ask you Teacher, why do you want to go long on the one hour, two hour chart? Because we have a bearish candlestick formation on the daily. Everybody, what is going to be your answer? Short on the two hour again. Teacher, why are you going to short an uptrend and a bullish candlestick formation? The daily may be sideways now on the top border, so short on the daily. Again, for the traders who want to short the daily, everybody, why would you short an uptrend? The market is making 
higher highs higher lows Ace are you in the webinar Ace Why would you short an uptrend everybody And again I'm just asking question I I'm, I'm, I'm your student I want to understand long on the one hour two hour why do you want to all go long you have a bearish candlestick formation on the daily from the monthly to the weekly short daily is your retracement because the higher time frame daily it's still retracing well it's not because on the one hour two hour chart it's making higher highs higher lows the daily candle is closed everybody okay any the daily controls the two hour yes yes ma'am everybody for the traders who say oh the daily controls the two hour chart and you want to short the market the one hour two hour four hour chart it's in an uptrend and the daily is still in an uptrend don't you think this is risky everybody because the uptrend is just a retracement of the long term Dow structure everybody in what time frame Eddington Salbakti long on the one hour tour on daily there is a confirmed uptrend the week is higher than the last lower high downtrend well maybe yes maybe no The bearish candlestick formation in the daily can be the beginning of a retracement on what on what time frame? On what time frame? Everybody. Time to shine the bearish candlestick on the daily it's a small retracement part of the monthly bullish candlestick. You are getting there time to shine. You are getting there so this time to shine you're getting there so this and let's make it bigger all of this is not clone I'm sorry all of this is this time to shine congratulations to you you are getting there and one two three all of this everybody is it's let, let, let's make a quadrant right so so it, as you can see everybody in the beginning it's challenging for us as beginner traders to spatially see what the market is telling us on the one hour two hour four hour chart and being honest right how many of us lose money in this kind of trades you know Santano says trading time frame is weekly which is retracing lower time frame is daily bearish candle trigger short yes correct Romar I think long on 4 hour chart because the daily is up waving and monthly has a bullish candle which controls the weekly despite the weekly having a bearish candle Christian says yes I agree everybody okay so let, let's make it easier everybody let's talk about the daily chart okay daily chart long or short long or short and before you answer long or short if you are going to answer long I'm going to say what well, what about the bearish candle on the weekly and if you are going to say to me short I'm going to ask you what about the uptrend on the daily okay so it's a long or short on the daily if you want to go long I'm going to ask you what about the confirmation time frame which is the weekly and it has a 
closed bearish candle before you go long and if you want to go short everybody I'm going to ask you well but what about the uptrend confirmed uptrend on the daily everybody and we are going to do we are going to do uh, let me see if we can we have a great example let me see if we have a great example let's see let's see one two three four five you know let's see monthly and the daily right monthly daily ends decay daily chart ends decay daily chart Okay, ends the cat daily chart, everybody. So we are we have a down structure, whatever, right? And we have extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, extension. Let me see extension. What would be? Let me check the daily here what would be the example so we have a downtrend down structure daily down up up down not this one okay there you go okay let me check extension retracement extension and then we are going to go to the next retracement slowly 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 there you go and the, okay then we are have the next extension right okay everybody we are here on the daily chart this is NZDK daily chart short till the uptrend line says Akos Shah, hello Mr. Passion, a warm wishes to you. Thank you for this webinar. I'm learning a lot from your contents. Thank you, Shah. Okay, everybody, so the market is waving down, right? Down, down, down. Okay. So on the daily, on the daily chart, we have lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Let's wait for the first higher high. Lower low, lower high. Not a high, not a low. Lower low. Not a high, lower low. And we have again a high. Let's see the market waving. Okay, this is the example. Lower low higher high higher low and there you go everybody higher high one two not a high not a high one two there you go okay so this is the live market it happened May 20 2018 okay and we are here talking about shorting the market or going long or short on the daily chart. Salbakti, go long on the daily, weekly has double bottom. And daily it could be start of uptrend retracement. Wow, nice. I did I didn't I'm going to I'm going to cancel the double bottom, okay? There you go. No, <laughs> no double bottom for you, <laughs> Salbakti. <laughs> but you spot a great, great, great thing. Okay, cannot be double bottom. The the weekly must reflect what the monthly is doing. Okay, so the monthly doesn't have double bottom, so the weekly it's not going to have double bottom. Salbakti, you weasel. You know, <laughs> just joking. Okay, everybody. This is the this is theory. Okay.
okay and on the daily we are here right not the perfect one but okay let's say that no I need to find the right one right so where is the bearish bearish there you go there you go bearish candlestick formation okay everybody this is NZD cat this is NZD cat daily chart and here on the daily chart the market is positioned the same we have we went from a downtrend we went from a downtrend to an uptrend but this downtrend and this uptrend is a part of the weekly positioned most likely like this and from the monthly on the monthly ends the cat it's making lower lows lower highs right okay so everybody now let's see how convinced are you on your decision short the market or go long which one do you want Okay, everybody, it's a short or long question. Let's go short or let's go long. And if you are going to lose, how are we going to make sense out of our loser? Daily starts an uptrend retracement, so long on the daily. Long on the daily, monthly is bullish and daily has formed uptrend. Oh, congratulations, we're in. You are starting to get it long on the daily, monthly. If we are going to lose, everybody, if we are going to go long and the, mar the market is going to push down, how are we going to make sense of our losers? This is the question. Ako se short. Okay, now let's see what is going to happen everybody. We have different wait for the counter, trend line break, uh, go long. Okay, so we have long and short. Let's see what is going to happen everybody. The market went up and down and up. So everybody, the next swing, okay. The next swing if you want, this is a high. This is a higher low and we have a higher high right now what I want you to learn everybody is for all the traders who set short in here for any reason if the market on the daily went long guess what happened on the 1 hour, 2 hour, 4 hour chart everybody let's be honest okay it's not we are not here to say oh I'm a winner you know oh I'm a loser oh I just made a mistake try to understand the lesson if you lost or if you would short the market how many of us are losing when this happens I'm telling you how many 90% of people who in this webinar are losing on these setups and don't tell me no oh not me you know of course not you you know let's be honest we're trying to learn the market how many of us are losing consistently on these kind of setups you know because we don't quite understand there is a reason there is a reason why the market and this is a probability game all right why the market nine times out of ten is going to do one thing or the other okay so when the market pushed up on the daily chart it pushed up also on the one hour to our friends so everybody who said oh let's let's short the market on the daily and let's short the market on the one hour two hour chart we lost you know now why did the market went up everybody why did the market went up 
on the one hour time we'll do how, how do you know Christian how do you know everybody this is the lesson how do you know that on the one hour two hour four hour chart and on the daily chart most likely the market is going to continue to go up because on the weekly chart we have a bearish candlestick formation if you don't understand this you could be easily saying oh this candlestick formation BS doesn't work there is a reason why many times when you are looking at the one hour two hour four hour chart and the daily the market goes on the opposite direction that you think that it's going to go congratulations time to shine that's it everybody the monthly candle is the answer okay the monthly candle is the answer okay so when the monthly candle closes bullish okay and yes of course the market can do anything it wants and the other stuff but when the or or when the monthly it's forming a bullish because it's a monthly candle you know how many of us are losing pips because the monthly candle is forming and it's moving up it's moving up it's moving up still forming the monthly candle is forming in a down structure downtrend down fibonacci down market way down ichimoku down bullish and bands everything is down and on the monthly we are looking at the monthly candle and it's moving up slowly when this happens guess what the other time frames are going to do and we are stubborn or we don't know how the market works and because of the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame when the month is forming bullish and it's going up and it's going up and it's going up also the one hour two hour chart the daily chart the weekly chart are going to move together because the monthly time frame controls the daily time frame and the one hour two hour chart and this was an easy example everybody I'm going to read I'm going to read in just a few seconds this is an easy example many times many times we have a downtrend on the daily many time we have a downtrend on the daily and many times we have also a downtrend on the or a down structure at least on the one hour chart chart you know it happens all the time down structure down market wave short term uptrend though down structure down market wave on the one hour two four hour chart still a short retracement on a short short uptrend you know everything is down on the daily on the short chart and we are shorting those two and we lose one trade and we are shorting again and we are losing to the second trade and another one and, and we are shorting because we are not checking the monthly do we Salvakti higher time frame controls the lower time frame Giuseppe short Christian on the one the market will do higher highs because of the bullish on the monthly Christian the market go up because of the monthly candlestick yes sir Romar it went because of the monthly yes Silas, I agree, the bearish candlestick formation the weekly is just part of the monthly. Yes. How many times, everybody, we don't check the monthly? We just check. We are seeing. So here is where perception comes in place. Our perception is the market is down. Structure is down. Fibonacci is down. Ichimoku is down. Everything is down and I have a bearish candle on the daily I have a bearish candle on the weekly this market must even worse this market is going to go down or even worse 
I know the market is going to go down and we short the market right how many in here lose consistently with these setups like this we short the market and of course the market is going to wave but at the end of the week this market is going to go up because of the monthly the bearish candlestick formation the weekly is just yes monthly and weekly retracement yes sir I'm sorry that ACE is not here together everybody most of the time what still we, what okay so what is the challenge the challenge the challenge until we get timing right the general bias slash direction is not is not going to help us meaning 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 we are going to lose because we are going to trade against the market short term this is the lesson everybody this is the challenge we as beginner traders we have until our timing is right the general bias and the general direction is not going to help us we are going to lose because we are going to trade against the market short term so you are shorting the market on the one hour, two hour, four hour chart on maybe the daily but on the monthly a bullish candle is forming so oh man I just lost because you know our bias was right so structure is still down we are still in a structural downtrend and our Fibonacci is down and Bollinger Band and the JP F Morgan Forex Super Mega Robot says that it's short but we are entering at the wrong time everybody most of the losers that the beginner traders have okay is because we are entering at the wrong time Does this make sense to you, everybody? Does this make sense to you? Time to shine says the bearish candlestick formation the weekly is just a part. Okay, Giuseppe, monthly, weekly retracement. Stoyan, make the habit of starting with higher time frame first. Thank you, Stoyan. You can guess, Stoyan, how many, how many people out of 100 are starting with the monthly. Or everybody, if you want a suggestion, and again, you can accept this or reject, you know, suggestion, suggestion, before entering one hour, two hour, four hour time frame, or even daily, daily, daily time frame, check the monthly monthly candle okay it's a suggestion before entering in the one hour two hour four hour daily time frame and some of you everybody are lazy you know oh passion you are so rude you know everybody I know some of you some of you are still lazy you know time is short and I need to go to work you know and I have my kids and daily seems okay and the two hours seems okay I'm going to enter the trade and I enter the trade but I didn't check the, the monthly chart and you are going to lose everybody you could have a great entry strategy that makes positive trades more most of the time but you are going to lose in a stupid trade like this you know because you didn't check 
you didn't check sorry my English you didn't check the monthly candle because you are lazy you know or maybe you are not lazy maybe you simply don't have time you know don't trade when you are in a hurry oh man I, I have one hour and a half to eat lunch and then I need to go back to work don't trade in this time you are just going to lose I mean you you are working hard you know you are working hard and you are analyzing the market and everything be, and because you don't have time to check the monthly candle you know don't trade in this time and again everybody you can reject what we are teaching you no problem you can accept or you can reject this Santano excellent lesson I have learned today thank you everybody watch this lesson two or three two or three times if you want okay Christian says very much sense Aqua says yes any yes sure Salbakti, myself as a beginner trader, even though I know about the higher and the lower time frame, I focus too much on my trading time frame and I don't strengthen my perception on the higher time frame. Thank you, Salbakti. How many times, everybody? We are keep repeating you the trading time frame, especially the one, two hour, four hour chart, are the less important ones are the less important ones and again we talked about this already what happens when you enter in the wrong direction probability speaking and you win and you won you are going to think man I don't need to I don't need to check the monthly and the weekly you know I'm going to enter in the wrong place on the one hour chart on the daily and going to won and I'm going to one again and again so why do I need to check these two suckers here the monthly and the weekly and I'm telling you again you are going to win two or three times maybe but you are going the market is going to eat half of your profits or even more on the next on the fifth rate time to shine so is it fine to enter long on a bullish daily candlestick formation when we have a bearish weekly but a bullish monthly or are we unlikely to see a bullish on daily and bearish great question time to shine what do you think if the higher time frame controls price movement and market direction you it the answer should be easy for you Stoyan, there is a quote I like very much. Do not complain about the results you did not get for the work you did not do. <laughs> Great one. Excellent quote. Great. Everybody. How would you answer to Time to Shine, everybody? Time to Shine is asking, so is it okay to enter long? bullish daily cancel formation when we have a bearish weekly but a bullish on the monthly what do you think everybody I'm going one more time then we are going to end the lesson everybody okay so you have a bullish candle on the monthly you have a bearish candle on the weekly time to shine this is for you and for everybody else you have a bullish candle on the daily okay now and the question is and let's make it easy and you have a again you have a bullish candle also on the one hour two hour chart right the question is is it the right time to enter daily time frame everybody 
you have a bullish candle on the monthly bullish engulfing candle right now we are talking about right now right now you have a bullish candle on the monthly closed right now you have a bearish candle on the weekly closed right now at the same time you have a bullish candle closed on the on the daily and of course the monthly can have something like this right a little week from the weekly and we have a bullish candle from the 2 hour chart is it the right time to enter any time frame I would say it's fine just checking weekly is to confirm the daily everybody so is right the right time to enter any candlestick formation MHB we just have to focus on the big trend upper lower band no MHB no exactly this is the problem no everybody no What's what time to shine is asking is exactly this we don't have a bias or direction problem we have a timing problem so time to shine the answer is no it's not okay to enter I mean if you want to go long on the daily and you have a bearish candlestick formation the weekly so the answer is no and you are not going to lose everybody because of the, the wrong direction you are going to enter in the wrong timing sorry I'm back no problem Victor is it the right time ok everybody can I go long on the 2 hour chart can I go on the smaller one can I go long on the 2 hour chart it's a yes or no question can I go long on the 2 hour chart one hour chart can I go long it's a yes or no question the smaller one the first one how do how do get the timing answer when you see the same convergences from your trading time frame and from your confirmation time frame yes right MHB yes 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 okay now the most important question can I go long on the two hour chart short term or long term okay everybody you got it congratulations to you is going to be a short term long trade or is going to be a long term long trade yes everybody everybody's right you got this one but unfortunately this is the last important one are we going to go long long term or long short term it's a long term or short term answer yes we can go it's going to be a short term long trade or it's going to be a long term long term short term short term short term why is that teachers but we have the confirmation from the daily why is going to be a short term trade everybody why short term why not long term Victor if you are watching this this is the lesson how do I get the timing right we are talking about this right now short term how do you know KJ says yes long term because of the monthly candle Salbakti no the correct answer is short term but you need to understand why the long term trade is short term the small time frame okay so
two hour, one hour, four hour. Whoops. Two hour, one hour, five. Short term, long trade because of the weekly candlestick formation and we go long until the daily gives us an opportunity to go short. Does this make sense to uh, make sense to everybody? It's going to be a short term long trade because of the weekly bearish. What has the weekly bearish to do with the 1 hour 2 hour chart? Nothing directly, but the weekly is going to dictate price movement of the daily. So, the long trade is short term until we have a opportunity to short the market on the daily when we have the opportunity to mark to short the market on daily you have the confirmation time frame and the trading time frame aligned and when you have the daily and the weekly aligned guess what the two hour is going to do announcement are another story image before another time The 1 hour, 2 hour, 4 hour trade is going to be short term because of the weekly and when the daily and weekly position in the same way, guess what the 1 hour, 2 hour is going to do? Is it so nice lesson? Thank you very much teacher passion. Thank you Christian. Until weekly shows bullish constant information, we can go long term long trade. We are talking about bearish weekly first. But you're right, KJ. This everybody. What we are trying, we, what we are trying you to learn is how to think. Because as KJ says, this is this can go in any combinations, you know. Okay, I owe you this one from Friday. Just quickly, everybody. What is your next level if you want? Okay. If you want, number one, if you want to accelerate your learning curve, ask for private lesson of Forex Course 101. Okay? If you have problems, you don't understand after three months, six months, a year, ask, you can ask for private lessons, you can ask me, you can ask Victor or every, anybody else, you know. Or if you want to learn how to trade as a professional trader, ask for the Forex Course 202 where we are learning that professional traders don't think, they just execute. Okay? In Forex Course 101 we are learning how to think, in 202 we are going to learn how just to execute, we are not going to learn how to think anymore, we don't need this anymore. Okay? Number two, this is a new way everybody, a new opportunity. If you want to start your know, training business and attract investors, connect and we will talk about the specific business model. Good news for you, no capital requirements. Passion aula de hoje deu um... Ha 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 ha. Okay everybody, number two, if you want to start your own trading business and attract investors with no capital requirement, just connect. Before you jump on connecting with me, be aware that I want to see three months of trading, okay? Don't, don't call me, oh, I want to attract investors and start my own business and I have only one month of trading. One month is not enough. I want to see minimum three months of trading, okay? Next level number three, if you think that you are ready to and you want to test yourself as a professional trader, test, to test rules apply and should be considered as a professional apprentice or junior trader in an institution, hedge funds, brokerage, investment banks, you can test yourself on a real account with real money. Okay, so we are gathering data from different traders and time to time different hedge funds and 
investment banks are calling me directly and asking oh passion do you have any traders you know so if you want to test yourself and the next level number four if you want to trade with me just connect and we're going to talk about the possibilities remember you need minimum twenty five thousand dollars or equivalent in other currency pair and this is not a signal service and again strict rules apply okay everybody this is from friday if you don't know oh passion what should i do go jump from level number one to level number two to level number three and finally go to level number four if you want to pursue a career or everything okay everybody see you back tomorrow with another lesson okay thanks boss short and long yes sir remember everybody timing timing it's a big question okay so until tomorrow stay strong and trade with passion this is fx passion signing off